Yo, what's good, y'all? Uh, I'm gonna be watching this video today. Uh, I need to know these things. So I plan on spending some money when the game drops. Uh, let's just watch. Let's watch. Greetings, Rovers. Shout out to Senior, but today is going to be a short one. Content. I'm going to be As going over the gotcha system in Weathering is. Waves. Break down all the banners, the rates, like the video in the description. And other various information regarding this specific system. I'd appreciate it if you guys drop me subscribe, as I'm currently running a $100 subscriber giveaway. Fetch. And also, I will be streaming all day on May 22nd over on Twitch for the release Fetch. of Weathering Waves and doing a 24 hour stream. I hope this is. Maybe not 24 hour, but I'm off. Right, I, so I got off that day. It. I'm about to stream fucking. There's a lot of various names all for day. everything, which may, may seem confusing, so I'm going to break everything down. 12 here. hours. Basically, convenes equals pulls. That's the short-term terminology that you'll see on a lot of the pull pages oh, for okay, how you okay. actually do your rolls. All right. Uh, asteroid is the premium currency, which allows you to convert 160 asteroid into one pull on any banner. And tides, which there are three different types of tides. These We're are going to be what are the gotcha tickets for actually pulling on the banners. Oh. So again, you have convenes, which is pulls. Asteroids, which is the premium okay, currency. Got... 100 equals one. Wishes for for the Genshin players, wishes, Primo Gems, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know what those things are called on Genshin, One but pull, the actual wishes themselves the tides. The types of tides are Lustrous, which is used on the normal banners, or I Radiant, didn't know what they called, which is used the on game, the but character I forgot. banner, the specific character banners. We're going to be starting with Gion and then Yinlin's banner after 20 or 21 days after launch. And then Forging Tides, which are going to be used for the Weapon Event Banner. Again, we're starting with Jian's Weapon Event Banner, and then Yin Lin's will come out when Yin Lin's Banner comes out. No other further characters or banners have been announced yet, so we don't know for certain what is coming past Yin Lin. But if I had to guess, we're going to get a lot of information regarding this very soon. More yeah. than likely around the time the game launches, we'll find out what the third banner is going to be. Might, we might get, here might get that before the game launches. You know, things like Hawkeye, Star Reel, or Genshin. From the pulls, you're obviously able to get three, four, and five star weapons, and then four and five star resonators. Obviously, the higher the stars, the better the rarity, just want, just and play Dungeon, man. the better the character or weapon. It will usually have more stats. Dungeon and the uh, little pink girl. The four star guarantee is every ten pulls girl. you do on a banner, obviously you are going to get one four star guaranteed. And their counter resets every time you pull a four-star resonator or weapon. Pretty standard stuff here. Nothing new if you've played Genshin or Star Rail. Alright, so for every three, four, and five-star character, you're going to get something called Oscillite Corals or Afterglow Corals. These are in-game currencies that you'll be able okay. to use to spend to get additional resources after you do your pulls. Each three-star weapon, which is basically the junk rolls, will give you 15 Oscillate curl Corals. After Glow Corals, oh, which the are dupes. the more premium okay. currency as opposed to Oscillate Corals, but I thought you can get the three for pulling top a 4-star weapon, five stars, uh, 15 for pulling a 5-star weapon. But down here, bro, this looks when you pull a four -star I'm not going to get any of these with this unless I'm close to video or something. But from your first so to six duplicate for their ascension, you're going to get three after glow curls and obviously one wave band. Just a note, wave bands are used to level up the character. Yeah, make one last chain, Genshin video. Which basically means every duplicate you get past the that. first, you're going to get In one additional days, resonance chain on today. that character. And then the seventh duplicate onwards, after you've maxed out the character's resonance chain, you will get eight after glow curls for each character pulled past that. Gaining a 5-star Resonator works more or less the same way, but with increased numbers. The first time you pull a 5-star Resonator, you will not receive any Afterglow Corals, but the first two 6 duplicates, you will receive 15 Afterglow Corals and one Wave Band to level up that oh. character's Resonance Chain. 
She gets those even if again from the seventh duplicate onwards, you will be receiving you get, 40 afterglow corals get each time. You get more if you have more. All right, so now you're going to be asking, sense. what exactly can I do with these afterglow corals and auxilia corals? They are expensive, well, though they're eight corals, instead of uh, I don't like you pouring my fingers, they're eight instead of fives, which you're going to be looking at roughly about. But you eight get eight, I'm sure, yeah, you get eight for the thing. So. Pull. Or alternatively, you can buy wave bands for the characters to level up their resonance chain. Each wave band, you're only going to be able to buy two at a time for the total of 270 on standard five star characters, 360 for the event banner characters. This means that roughly every 90 pulls, considering you're guaranteed to get a four star, you're able to exchange that for one wave band. So on top of the five star that you're guaranteed to do to get upon doing X amount of pulls, which I'll go into shortly, you're also building up that Afterglow Coral currency in order to purchase a wave band for your character. These wave bands most likely will reset on a monthly basis, so you'll be able to get your character to a six star resonance chain after about three months, assuming you're just completely unlucky. Keep note though, that is oh, a okay. ton of pulls, and you will more than likely have to swap if you're going to get two per month. I just figured they would go away about 240 to 270 pulls after the standard means banner went away. Game. You can see one of my previous so, like, like, There's no way you would get it on the first banner, but after it, you would get launch. it. Hi. But that's cool that they keep it. All right. It would be cool if you got to keep it like what you can, like you said, but if you got to keep it like, um, seriously, hidden fees for a couple right, banners so you could get that. Uh, Doopy wanted. To oscillate corals, these are That's used to fire. purchase pulls, which reset on a monthly basis. You can purchase yeah. six standard pulls, six weapon pulls, and six banner pulls w per month with these items. You could also buy various upgrade materials for your resonators, weapons, and echoes. Moreover, you can purchase ascension materials for your resonators, which are needed when upgrading every 10 level levels. Lastly, you can purchase shell credits, which is probably the worst thing you could buy with your corals. All right, so nextly we have the novice shell worst credits. thing you could buy with your corals. Oh, this is the more. All right, so nextly we have the novice convene. This is basically going to be the beginner's pulling, where you, once you've pulled 50 times on the banner, it's going to disappear forever. You're going to be able to do 10 pulls for a discount of cost of eight tides each and after you have pulled on this banner 50 times so five of the eight pulls which comes out to about 40 of the tides you are going to be able to receive a random five star for free just want to throw in a quick caveat here because this is what was offered on cbt one and two Although previously, back in April, after the CBT had ended, there were some leaks that there is going to be a five-star selected banner gear, uh, convene after you do 80 pulls to get a specific five-star of your choosing. This has not been confirmed yet, despite various hmm. sources telling you that they that it is confirmed. And I was under the impression it was as well, back when I made my I thought we were going to get both. Videos. So I just want to throw it out there again to set expectations. I didn't know it was a banner though. I thought it's five star reg, you get to pick a five banner star. is not guaranteed. Like in your mail. But Kuro is probably going to put it in. You know, now that you know the entire community is talking about it, and it's sort of become a staple talking point on a lot of people's videos. I foresee them yeah. throwing it in just as a good faith measure. Personally, I think if they didn't, I think they would be losing a lot of good faith with the community, and people would be severely upset. The launch of this game yeah. is going to be incredibly important to Kuro, and they're going to, they gonna have to do to that one. everything within their they power to make both, sure baby. the player base is happy and W peer around. pressure the company. And for that reason alone, I think the five-star selector the will be company. on launch. We'll have to wait and see. I have a feeling we'll get some news a couple days prior to the game launching, if it will be in or not, and I'll obviously up you guys with any update you guys with any official news coming out. All right, so some more information regarding the guaranteed banner that we're going to get. The rates for 5-star resonators is a 0.8%, so that means each individual roll that you do, you have a 0.8% chance of getting a, a random 5-star. And when I say a random 5-star, it's a specifically for a 5-star resonator. You cannot get 5-star weapons off of the standard pull banner. The rate for pulling a 4-star resonator or weapon is 6%, and specifically I said weapons because you can pull 4-star yeah, weapons off of the novice banner. 
Uh, there's no specific rate-ups for weapons or banners, so each four-star weapon and resonator has the same amount of chance as anything else, same with the five stars. And you can only use Lustrious Tides on this banner, which is the basic summoning tickets. And here is a list of the five star standard resonators you can get. Verena, Encore, Calcharo, Ling Yang. And okay, so when it comes out, I'm going to get all the bonus packs, some of y'all those. And then I'm going to pull on the beginning banner. Finish that out. And then if it's a selector, I'll wait. And then I'll spend the rest of my summons on the limited banner and get random. And if I don't get the limited character, then I'll pick someone else. So that way I don't get a dupe of the character that I select. And John Jin. All right, so now we get over to the permanent convene banner. So this is going to be the banner that's going to be in the game for the foreseeable future. You're able to guarantee a 5-star within 80 convenes or 80 pulls, and this isn't sh shared pity with any sort of event banners. So it's specifically 80 pulls on this banner alone. The same rates apply to this banner as the convene banner, as the, uh, excuse me, as the newbie banner, 0.8% for a 5-star resonator, and 6% for a resonator weapon or, uh, resonator or weapon. Again, you can only use the basic Luxurious Tides on this, and you can get the same 5 stars that I just talked about. Yeah, so it's encore. the exact like same thing as the newbie banner, but it just has that difference between, you know, not problem with it, but I get, if I get a uh, newbie banner I think it seems for, for 10 pulls, it's going to be a 10 for 10, and the guaranteed 5 star uh, is... The Shao dude, <laughs> I don't know what else to call him. Right, so next up, we he's not even like Shao, but uh, that guy, and this is if I don't get him, or if I do get him, then... I don't know if she hit Encore because it wasn't me DPS's. But I was already saying the problem with this game is all the characters I like happen to be main DPS's. I mean, I like most of the characters, but the ones I like the most are all main DPS's. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. I'll figure it out. Going to be the permanent convene that is always in place. Encore for the, the main DPS. And, and for this, the main it looks much different than any other game, where you're and going Dan's to be able to the select DPS. the specific weapon that you want to focus when doing the pulls. You'll get your specific weapon at Pity at 80, and it'll be the weapon that you chose before you started doing your pulls. This is insane, you bro. You can select any of the standard 5-star targets, the sword, Pearl, the blade, Pearl pistols, gauntlets, or the rectifier. This is how they, they tricked us. And I'm starting they to sound like, a, like I'm repeating myself, sure, but 5-star weapon is 0.8%, and the 4-star resonator so weapon from this already. banner is 6%. You, so you have a 6% chance to get a purple, and a 0.8% chance to get that legendary that you're going for, but you are guaranteed it at 80 pulls. Again, you can only, you can use, only use Lustrous Tides for this, which is the basic pulls. So here's a brief overview of all of the weapons. I'm I did make a video about this better. on the specific weapon that you they should want. I probably won't pull on this banner at all. But at the end of the day, you should be looking for the weapon that is going to the fit best for your one. main, whoever that may be, and whatever and team you may that, decide to use. And then after that, I'll pull on the limited weapon banners. Next if up, I want a weapon that bad, event probably convene, which won't be. on May 22nd, when the game launches, we are going to get Gion's banner. And roughly three weeks later, we will get Yin Lin's banner, who's an Electro Rectifier DPS. And obviously, if you guys are familiar with character banners, yeah, this there is going to be right up for the one five-star resonator, which is... His banner is insane, because you get you and you get in, in there. Right and, uh, what's her name? Three four-star resonators. Shixia? Don yeah, Jin, she's cool. Gortefi, and Shixia. My favorite gun character. And as Other usual, the, the, the rates are going to be the same. 0.8% for a five-star, 6% for a four-star. Once you pull a 5-star Resonator, either through Pity or through the 0.8%, you will have a 50-50 chance on getting the event banner. In this case, Gian. Loki, resonator. actually? I think I like her more than the one guy. Playstyle-wise. The one guy looks cooler, obviously. Not character design, but the abilities. The fucking wind itself is insane. But Chixie is playstyle. I like, more. I like the high commitment um, burst. So it's a 1 in 2 chance of getting the resonator you want upon pity or any sort of 5 stars that you randomly pull through the 0.8%. Get off. I know a lot of you are going to be confused about this article when it says you are guaranteed to obtain a 5 star within 80 pulls. That is true. You have a 50-50 chance of hitting it. But you will not guaranteed to get the resonator within 160 pulls as it is a 50-50 chance each time that you hit pity 
that you get the rate up resonator. You will not be guaranteed to get G on after 160 pulls in the resonator if you miss a 50-50 shot twice. Please keep that in mind. And remember huh? What? You will not be guaranteed after you miss... Wait, what did he just say? He just said the I heard the opposite of what it Guaranteed says. Guaranteed to get the resonator within 160 pulls. Not upon pity or any sort of five stars that you would randomly pull through the 0.8%. I know a lot of you are going to be confused about this article when it says you are guaranteed to obtain a five star within 80 pulls. That is true. You have a 50-50 chance of hitting it. Mm -hmm. But you will not guaranteed to get the resonator within 160 pulls, as it is a 50-50 chance each time that you hit pity to get the rate up resonator you will not be guaranteed to get g on after 160 pulls in the resonator if you miss a 50 50 shot twice please keep that in mind and what do you mean he's really reading the exact opposite of what it says he says it will take you in most 160 pulls to get it is this wrong he's saying this is wrong that doesn't make any sense. They would never do that. They wouldn't make their system worse than Genshin's in any way that would turn people away. And remember, you can only use the Radiant this Tides on this banner. You cannot use the standard Lustrous Tides. It's only the Radiant Tides. Let me look at the comments, actually. Because there's no way. What the hell? What's happened? I went to the comments and that shit just disappeared. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds. And I'm right, here with you. Keith. Um, okay. Yeah, I think he misspoke or something. Or maybe, I don't know. I have multiple sources. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think he read it wrong or something. Lustrous tides. It's only. So I don't know why he would have ever thought that. Tides, but maybe he didn't read it wrong. And he's or had obviously asteroid. And for which you tell him otherwise at the time. And finally, we have the weapon convene. In this case, Gian's weapon, Verdant Summit, which is his best in slot weapon. Same rates as usual. You have a five. You, excuse me. You have a 0.8 percent chance of getting the five star weapon. Six percent chance on getting a four star <sighs> resonator or weapon. But unlike other games, which is, is going to be huge. Once you pull a 5-star weapon, either through the 0.8% chance or through right here. hitting Pity within 80, you are 100% guaranteed to get the about. weapon of the banner. None of this 50-50, 75-25 bullshit like other games have. You will get the weapon, assuming you hit Pity. This is huge, and no other game has done this before, to my understanding. And that's it. Now you're a master of the gotcha Insane. system in Wuthering Waves. And that wraps it up. I wonder why that happened. Yeah, go, go subscribe to Shinya, bro. Another great video from him. Join the Discord. Try to win bro's giveaway. Um, look at the comments. You know? They're just, there's hype, they're lit. Yeah, that, that threw me off. But we good. Peace out, y'all. Thanks for watching.